So once we've fabricated the components of the ski, we will do what's called a wet layup process. That involves taking each of those components, we'll start with the base and put a layer of resin on the base. Then we'll do a structural layer such as fiberglass, wet that out with the resin system. Then we add the wood core, more resin, and then another structural layer such as fiberglass, more resin, and then the top sheet. We'll put a steel cassette on top of that sandwich and slide that ski block into our ski press. The first thing that we do is we adjust the length of the press. We can add and remove different spacer blocks. Then we'll select the right uh, tip and tail block. So right here is an example of one of our tip blocks. We have different tip blocks that will work for different types of ski designs. Right here is the block that puts the camber into the center of the ski. So we have different blocks that'll give the skis the appropriate camber depending on the length and again, design and application of the ski. And then right here, like the tip blocks, we have different tail blocks, different options, depending on the design, our code gives the instructions for the operator. Our ski press has a heating element in the top and the bottom. We slide the ski block into the press and then we inflate airbags, which apply pressure. The skis will cook under pressure for about 30 minutes, around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. When we pull the skis out of the press, we've got a block, two skis side by side. These are the steel edges, and it's a wood top sheet ski. The next challenge becomes how do we extract the skis out of this block and turn it into a high performance piece of sports equipment. 